रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स और रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंडोन्यूक्लियस आर प्रोटीन्स दैट क्लीव डीएनए एट स्पेसिफिक साइट्स इन बैक्टीरियल सेल्स रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स क्लीव द फॉरेन डीएनए थस एलिमिनेटिंग द इन्फेक्टिंग ऑर्गेनिजम रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स कैन बी आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉम बैक्टीरियल सेल्स एंड यूज इन द लेबोरेटरी टू मैनुपुलेट स्मॉल फ्रैगमेंट्स ऑफ डीएनए सच एज दो दैट कंटेन जीन्स फॉर दिस रीजन दे आर एन इनडिस्पेंसिबल टूल फॉर रिकॉम्बिनेट डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी और जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग टू कैरी आउट रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम डाइजेशन एंड टू क्रिएट रिस्ट्रिक्शन मैप इज रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट इन रिकॉम्बिनेट डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो we will study how to create restriction maps for enzymes for linear as well as for circular dna before we go on to dna let's imagine a linear rope we have a linear rope which i am cutting using a scissor at one place we all know that we will get two pieces if i am making a cut at one place If I'm using the same linear rope and I'm making cut at two places in that condition three pieces of the rope will be obtained Now if the rope is in a circular form and I'm making a cut at one position I won't get two fragments I will only get one fragment because this cut is just going to open the circular loop and make it into the linear form on the same circular loop if cut is made at two different places in that condition the first cut will linearize the loop and the second cut will make a fragment so at the end i will get two pieces restriction enzymes can be imagined as molecular scissors they make cut at very specific sites we can relate the linear rope with the linear dna wherein one cut was giving you two fragments so here i can generalize that on a linear dna the number of fragments that are generated will always be 1 plus the number of restriction enzyme site or you can see it as 1 plus the number of cuts that are made and in case of circular dna one cut is giving you one fragment so the total number of fragments generated will be equal to the number of restriction enzyme sites just so that we can relate all this to an example we we'll look at this exercise If there are 45 restriction enzyme sites of EQR1 restriction enzyme and three restriction enzymes of BAM H1 restriction enzyme on a linear DNA what will be the number of DNA fragments obtained if the restriction enzyme digestion is carried out in three different conditions with EQR1 alone with BAM H1 and with both of them In this question two important things to consider are 45 restriction enzyme sites of equr1 and the dna is linear so if i want to find out how many fragments of equr1 i first need to just imagine a linear dna on a linear dna i will always get one plus fragments so in that condition if there are 45 restriction enzyme sites of equr1 i will get 46 fragments of dna now bam h1 is having three restriction enzyme sites the dna is still a linear dna so the number of fragments will be 3 plus 1 equal to 4 in a condition when where you have both the restriction enzyme that is 45 sites of equr1 and three sites of bam h1 total you are having 48 sites because equr1 will cut at 45 sites and bam h1 will cut at 3 sites so total you are having 48 sites 
and your DNA is still linear. So it will be 48 size plus 1 which will give you 49 fragments. Here just make sure you don't total this and add one fragment. You always need to consider the number of fragments, number of sites which will give you the number of fragments at the end. On the same question, if I am just changing the DNA from a linear to a circular one, it is much more easier because now EQR1 will have 45 sites, BAM H1 will have 3 sites and with both of them you will get only 48 sites. If this video was helpful, then please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave us your valuable comments. Thank you.